Okay, Watch Your Lip fans, today we are gonna do a catch and cook on moonfish. That's right, guys, we're gonna fillet a moonfish. They are super weird. Guys, check out how flat that fish is. How much meat is there on a moonfish? Are they worth eating? We're gonna try and determine all of that for you. Watch out, watch your lip, moonfish. You should've watched your lip. Guys, uh, how do we fillet a moonfish? We're gonna find out real soon. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Let's get to the video. You're very strange. And guys, I'm excited to do a session for at least two and a half, maybe even three pounds of meat. All right, guys moonfish or look down guys this fish there's a lot of people that don't bother eating them uh, I remember eating them when I was a kid I tried filleting them I used to catch a lot of them when I was little and was a teenager and stuff and I remember that it was a real pain to fillet them and if you only caught one or two it was hardly worth the trouble because guys look how thin that fish is I mean when it looks at you what an alien looking fish that is <laughs> you would think is there is there enough meat on this fish right here to make it worth filleting is the juice worth the squeeze as we say and i'm gonna about to show you guys actually i'm gonna learn because it's been 20 something years since i've filleted one so it's been a long time but we caught a bunch of them last night so we're gonna go ahead and fillet some and we're gonna do a tutorial, as I learned, about how to fillet these bad boys, and then we'll probably do another catch and cook episode. So, um, guys, look at this. What a creepy looking fish. They're actually in the jack family. Um, they're very common at night inside the Intracoastal around docks, and uh, we caught these guys right inside the Hillsborough Inlet at a dock light. They were all over the place, and they were eating just a jig head. Uh, literally, no, no bait, no tipped with anything, no just a jig head we're throwing it out and kind of zipping it along the top and they were hitting it so we got i think over a dozen of them so we are going to do a fillet how do you fillet one of these bad boys so here we go <clears throat> all right guys so one of the things we know we need to do is we know we need a nice sharp knife because i know there's not a whole lot of meat on these moonfish so, we gotta make sure that our knife is nice and sharp. There's nothing worse than filleting fish with a dull knife. All right, who's the first, first customer? There we go. All right, now, pretty sure the meat comes up here let's see never done this before guys it's been a lot actually I have when I was a kid I used to fillet them but it has been a long time I'm not sure where the real meat starts so um, let's see there's not a whole lot of meat on these things guys so I'm gonna try and make my outline here I know this piece right here is full of meat, so we're gonna try and, actually, let's do this. Yeah, found it. Eesh. All right, we've almost got our first outline here. <laughs> what a weird, ugly fish. I'm thinking, since I know there's meat here, I'll just go along this backbone edge and try not to miss any of that. We'll start there. Now we'll see. 
Guys, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. <laughs> All right, looks like I missed some meat here. I'll learn that for next time. All right, there we go. That's, that's looking better. There we go. All right, guys. Moonfish fillet number one. And it looks like uh, there's a few ribs there, but it looks like for the most part, there's no bones in that fillet. All right, guys. First moonfish fillet. I missed a little bit of meat. No, not really. Those are just little tiny pieces. A little bit of meat right here. So it looks like I need to go a little bit further down into the belly so I can get some of this meat right there so i think i did that here but i'm gonna try and see if we can do that on this fillet There seems to be some like real strong integument right here. There's these two pieces of integument that attach on either side of the tail right there, guys. I don't know if you can see that, but that is one thing that is very strong actually. So you gotta cut through that and get some of this belly meat here. And then you finally run into the rib cage right here. Let's see. Very strange fish, guys. I missed a little bit of meat. Yep. Okay, I'm doing okay. Let's see. Okay. All right, this side, I did better because I got more of the belly meat. Cut around the rib cage, which was good. Missed a little bit of meat right here, but that's not bad, guys. So that's that's it. We got two, actually two decent fillets off the moonfish. They're a little weird looking, but I gotta be honest with you, I'm kind of excited because I didn't think I was gonna get that much meat off of that fish, so. Pretty cool. What a weird fish. All right, guys, I wanna show you a couple things about the moonfish. There's some serious integuments. One, two of them are right here by the tail that are really very strong integument, like right here and here. And yet you literally have to cut through it. Oh my gosh, what? Dad, look what I found. Save the bait. What, wait, oh my. look at, oh wow. That's the okay. shrimp. This I is the shrimp that we used for bait, guys. Look how big <laughs> the shrimp is. That all fit inside here. That all well, fit inside here. He right ate here. the entire shrimp and it was all the way down, right? It was like all the way down. It was like here. inside his intestines. All right, guys. Lorenzo, are you going to are you going to save the bait, dude? I think we should use it at the spillway. <laughs> Catfish. 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 Well, dude, we'll put that next to your fillet there. That's uh or we could eat got, it. just got a little bit of uh, stomach juice on it there. We could eat it as yeah. well. <laughs> you're, you're a trip. Bro. I'm a trip. All right, so now here's the other piece of integument right here. Guys, there, there's a, there's a, like a piece of, I don't know if it's a ligament or some kind of external integument that goes from the top of the, of the head or the, I guess where the head is, down over the top. You can, it literally goes over the top of the skin. You can feel it. And it goes over here and it's really tough guys and you have to cut through that right here they're very strange and you need a you need a strong air you can see it starting to pull up there so you need a sharp knife because that actually takes some pressure to get through there even with that a fillet knife that was actually a really good fillet right there. 
Yeah, let me see. Well, Lorenzo's got his Jack Crevel filet, and you're mutilating that thing. I, look at this thing. I oh, really, dude. I really took yeah, all you're, the you're, you're mutilating it. All right, so. What do we do with guys, the, so, the so, head? real quick, uh, so the meat on the moonfish comes all the way up. Should I throw it in the can? We will throw it in the can. I've got my little pile of oh, little carcasses over here. Um, the meat comes all the way down towards the nostril here on the top of the forehead. And so, you know, as you can see on this filet, that's what the filet looks like. There's this nice little piece of meat that comes down near the head. And as you can see, that's actually a pretty decent filet, guys. And I've heard they're excellent to eat. And tonight we're actually going to have enough of them to try out. So I don't know about de-skinning them, though. Craving grunt time. Oh, he's going to fillet a grunt. Dude, you are such a... No, no, this is Sophie's grunt. She wanted to keep it. Yeah, she did. She right. wanted to keep it. Lorenzo's going to fillet a grunt now. Yeah. And these guys are good to eat, too. But did you try it yet? I don't know if the juice is worth the squeeze. The juice is definitely worth the squeeze, guys. So? Okay, well. We'll only keep um, grunt that are basically 10 inches up. All right. Because, like, this fillet is super small. It's pretty gross. I can't believe that Lorenzo's actually going to try and eat Jack. That's what a Jack Cravel fillet looks like, by the way. Look how bloody that thing is. Just like a bonita. And yeah. you want to see it a bonita. Well. Deer meat says they're we'll both see. good. We'll see. Deer meat says that Jack Ravels are good. And bonita. <laughs> and bonita. Well, we'll, we'll find out soon. He, he eats anything. That meat looks a whole lot nicer. It does, doesn't than it? Than that meat. So well, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. One of the things that I'm finding with these guys is that the, the flesh up by the head, the, it, the skin peels right off of it real easy and uh, you know you kind of get excited because oh this is kind of like a mahi mahi because it's starting to peel right off and if you leave this little piece attached here by the by the nostril it just peels right off and you got this nice big slab right here until you get here and all this integument starts underneath here and it grips it and there is it is not coming off any further than that so skinning these guys we're gonna experiment with that in a few and we're gonna see how that goes but uh i don't know how much meat is gonna actually be left on this thing after we remove all these ribs and the skin and all the, the the little bones there but but guys look at the some of the things that we found in the stomach that i'm guessing well that was in the jack stomach but <laughs> this guy's i'm guessing is a pilcher little tiny i don't know may, maybe it is maybe it's something else i'm not sure and then we found this which is a glass minnow those were both inside the stomach inside the stomach of in one fish of one moonfish so this is guys this is what they're actually eating in those lights these little glass minnows come into the into the light and you can see the moonfish and actually the little juvenile snook that we're seeing uh this is what they're eating predominantly so um you know the shrimp start running in February, March, and I'm sure at that point they'll start start switching over to the shrimp. But for now, this is the diet of a moonfish according to the stomach contents. All right, guys, now it's time to try. We're gonna try and skin these things. Let's we'll see how it works. I'm not sure how it's gonna go, guys. Um, first thing. Let's see if we can get this skin to go. I might wind up cooking these guys with the skin on. Let's see how this goes. Well, maybe. It might work. Messed up a little bit already. Ah, oh, I just messed it up. Oh, wow. All right, guys, I just butchered that one. That's not good. But I did get this filet with almost all the skin. There's a little bloodline right here. We'll work on that, and then we're going to have to remove the rib cage. So let's do that. Let's get rid of this rib cage, and let's see how much meat is actually on this filet see do i feel any more bones there's a little bit of pin bones here you can feel a little bit of pin bone 
and I'm just cut those little pin bones out and that's that's it guys that's that's about what we got uh, I I accidentally chopped this part off when I was skinning it so we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do with that but there's actually more meat on there than I thought this is all good fresh meat guys there's no bones in this uh, I got probably got to work on let me get this bloodline out of there that's actually a pretty thick meaty bloodline so we can cut that out and make sure you use a smaller knife let's see jacks typically have big bloodlines and I believe that moonfish are in the jack family okay I can't grab it let's see if I can just cut it out this way without destroying my filet. All right, let's get, there's that. Okay. Okay. Bloodline's coming out pretty easily. I'm not missing a whole lot of meat on that. So yeah, there we go. All right, so guys, that's it. Nice, nice little filet. They'll make some good little sandwiches, I think. And that's, I think, how we're going to try and cook them uh, in sandwich form. <laughs> and uh, we'll find out how we do on that. Stay tuned for the Catch and Cook episode of the Moonfish. Okay, guys. So this is what I came out with from our 12 Moonfish sleigh. There was 12 fish. I got at least two and a half, maybe even three pounds of meat off of those fish guys this is with no skin no bones i cut out all as much as i the skin as i could you got to get creative with the uh skinning uh, we tend to be fish snobs in the fine house so we don't like any skin or bloodline or bones in our in our fish so i cut out as much as i could the fillets are not pretty so if you want to do like any kind of like presentation moonfish is probably not going to be the best fish for you to do a presentation with um, because and there is some integument I, I guess if there was one word that I would use to describe moonfish uh, filleting it's integument you got to get used to where these little thick little bands of integument are that that make filleting difficult and you got to cut those out they hold the flesh on the uh, or the skin on them on the on the uh, fillets and hold the fillets onto the carcass and so you got to get those cut out and guys i'm excited to do a catch and cook so this is a big pile of white meat uh i'm excited guys hope you like the video hope you learned something i learned a lot about filleting moonfish or look downs and so uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button like it subscribe to our channel because we've got plenty more where this comes from and look out for our moonfish uh cook and eat and that's coming out soon guys hope you enjoyed it Let's get to some moonfish. Watch your lip.